so we can play this job. I'll change their size, you know, so we can recognize them. All right. And we'll, we'll call it, you know, like we do a lot of astronomy, so we'll call it, you know, planets and so forth. It's pretty cool. Uh, it works pretty well for that kind of thing. Okay. So we'll put a bunch of them. Oops, sorry. Okay, let's save that quickly. And we'll call that uh, stars. Right. Okay, now what we're going to do is very simple. We are going to just basically um, look at a couple of tools we can use. There's a couple of ways, uh, basically, uh, what we're going to use the whole time. Um, uh, to read your character is mainly uh, what's called bones, all right? And the bones are just a visual um, representation of a connection, a child, parent child connection between two objects. It just looks like a bone, but you could use a, you know, you, you, you don't have to use bone system if you don't want to. You, you know, you could use just boxes connected together as a child, you know, and that would work the same way, okay? But it's not as convenient, it doesn't look as good. You know when you do it, but you could. I did it before. So they create bones, so it's easy. You can see the way it flows and so forth like that, you know, which is pretty cool. Um, so, but it's just basically um, a connection between a parent and a child. Okay. Now, in Maya, you have two real type of connection. Uh, you have a grouping connection, and you select all the objects right here. Okay, and you go on group right here. And if you go into window and you look into the hypergraph, all right, right here, uh, you can see that uh, basically that group right here, you know, that's what we created as a bunch of members, okay? But they are all on the same specific hierarchy. There's not one that is the, uh, you know, that is on top of each uh, or someone else that orders, boss, and or anything like that, or the others. If I group one of the members, uh, nothing happened to the others unless I group the, I select the group, and I move everything. All right. Now there is different type of hierarchy in Ray Two. Um, it's um, it's simply called parenting. Um, that's what you'll learn this week. Parenting is, so we can delete that group right here. That's the hypergraph uh, hierarchy uh, view that you can see right now. And you can navigate into it just like you do uh, in an orthographic view form. Okay. Now I got sphere one, two, three, four, as you can see right there. Let's say I want uh, to have, when I move sphere one, sphere two moves with it. So I'm going to parent it. So you know what I'm saying? Grab it with the little mouse button, you know, and drop it into it, and then it's parenting. Meaning, when if I select that sphere one, you know, right here, both of them are going together, but not the others. If I select sphere two, only sphere two goes, and nothing happens to sphere one. All right, it's a classic parent-child relationship, where basically the if you move the parent, the child moves. The child if you move the child, the parent doesn't move. Okay, and that can be done at all level like that. Again, using the uh, needle mouse button, you can drop them. And if I select the first one, the main one, then everything goes with it. All right. If I select the second one, then only those three goes with it. So they can work by themselves. All right. And same way right here. Okay. Unle until you get to the last one right there. Okay. That's a parent-child connection. That's basically what bones are. They are a parent-child connection. All right, it's a bit more complex than that. So that's what you'll do in the first week. Okay, now let's look um, at our bone stuff. Okay, All right, let's look at a, a top view. You never want to lay bones, you guys, uh, in an, in a um, perspective non-orthographic viewport. You always want to lay bones. That's one of the main rules. Always lay bones, you know, and create your rig in orthographic viewport. The second rule is to always never move a bone. Don't translate it. You can rotate it. 
all right? Do not translate it. When you translate a bone, you basically mess it up with your rotation axis. Then you'll have to reorient the axis, and it's not always ideal. Let's keep it this way, okay? So now, in your business for this class, you're going to be mainly with the actual animation tab right here, and you're going to mainly work with skeleton and skins right here. Skeletons to actually create the, the actual skeleton itself, the bones, and the IK, some of the animation system that you will use. I will look into uh, in week three or four, we'll look at IK, we'll see an actual IK system. Forgot to tell you guys that. Um, and the skin one is basically where you attach the skin of your character to those uh, the puppetry system, to that uh, skeleton. All right, so that's pretty much what you're gonna work, and actually pretty much that's it, all right? So for today, just, uh, you know, so we know the join tool basically will let you create joints. So you click it and you can actually snap it, which is a good thing. So let's say you want to be very accurate and you want all those planets to actually rotate around that sun right here. Okay. Um, so we're going to snap to point right here, get really close and snap a bone right there, right in the middle. See, can you see? Now we're gonna go to the other one right here and snap another joint right there. Then we can click on enter. Okay, let's zoom out. Cool. Now what we can do is that we can attach that planet. We're gonna let, let's detach from the uh, hierarchy. So we can see our joints just like the hierarchy. Just do the same way, just click and right middle mouse clicking in an empty space will get you to those things do not be uh, parent anymore. All right, we messed up with the bone right there, we can get rid of that. We can take it back, you see I tell you how it works, it's good, how it works. Don't rotate it, don't scale it, I mean don't translate it, rotate it, okay? Okay, now we're going to basically parent that uh, to each other's, okay? So when we select a bone, you know, that bone will move with it, okay? And the way you do that is that you select the child, then you select the parent, and then you click on P for parenting, okay? Now, when the bone is selected, it'll rotate properly right there, okay? Now, we're going to do the same thing right here. So, we're going to zoom in, and then I'm going to select that, select the tip, Right here, it makes it more smaller by clicking on minus on your keyboard and plus to make it bigger. And then click on the P like that. So now, when we sell like that, as you can see, it's going to go with it. So that will always rotate around us. You know what I'm saying? Now, we'll do the same thing. We'll select, we'll go now in a new tool in Skeleton, and we can take, you know, the join tool right here and click on here and then go right there to click on that one. Click on enter and you have a new connection, just have to attach them. You can do that again. Same tool right here, right in the middle. All right. Now it's just time to actually attach them. So one, two, Click on P, child, parent, click on P for parenting, okay? Now, you'll see all those will rotate at once. All right. So, you know, it's just a simple one for that one. Very simple. And uh, you could actually, if you wanted to, move it, but that's... Never move it for characters. You can do that if you want to for uh, planets and so forth. For characters, never do that because they don't rotate properly after that. Okay? And that's it for the first week. Get used to that. Uh, you know, the hypergraph, uh, using hierarchy, grouping, a child, and a parent connection. Uh, play with some bones like I just uh, showed you in the parenting tool. You know, to get a bunch of stuff going, you know, and try to find some intricate way to use that for like systems and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, we'll uh, see you guys again uh, next week.